Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to generate frequencies in SPSS. For this purpose, I am going to use the employee data. This data is available in the samples folder of SPSS. Before running any analysis, it is necessary to understand the level of measurement of each variable. So, we are having ID, gender, birth date, education, job category, salary, salary begin, job time, previous experience, and minority. You can go in variable view to see the levels. So, in gender, male and female. In education level, we are having categories like 12, 14, 15. Now, what do I mean by 14? So, if any employee has completed an education first year of college, so it is 12 plus 1, second year of college, 14, third year of college, 15. So this is a way, this is a way uh, education level is considered. Then I will go in employment category. So clerical, custodial, and managerial. Like okay. Current salary is continuous, therefore, we don't have any categories in it. So similarly, uh, job time, previous experience, minority. Person is present in minority, yes or no. Basically, this is a US data. Now, you can specify the scale of measurement of each variable from here. So, it is scale. If you want to change any scales, you can click here and you can have a drop down menu and you can change it from here. So gender is nominal, birth date. It has been kept scale, but we cannot analyze anything from here. Education is ordinal because with each level or uh, which each increase in standard the level of education changes so it's an ordinal job job category is also ordinal because clerical custodial and managerial all others are scale variable and the last one is ordinal it has been specified ordinal make it nominal now you have to specify this level of measurement in excel sheet so that you can plot the appropriate graph and appropriate statistics are generated. Bifurcate your variables into two categories, one non-metric and metric. So non-metric is a categorical variable, metric is a continuous variable. All those variables which are categorical are gender. So you can see your gender, education, job category and minority they are all categorical variables if i talk about the continuous variable salary salary begin job time and previous experience they all are continuous so if you are having a categorical variable you are going to use frequencies menu of spss and if you are having the continuous variable that is a metric data you are going to use descriptives now, how we can do this? Let us see in SPSS. Analyze descriptive statistics frequencies. I'll reset it. I'll pick up gender from here. One, education, two, top cat, three, minority, four. Click on statistics. Now, you cannot have a mean of the categorical variable. At the most, you can have more. Continue. Click on charts. Click on bar chart and percentages continue make sure in format to click on organize output by variables so that the table and chart comes together if you don't click on this all the tables are generated first and the charts are generated later on continue click ok and you got the output so out of 474 employees 45.6 per percentage are female and 54.4 percentage are male you got the charts also, but the chart does not display any percentage. To get the percentage, double click on the blue bar and activate this so data labels. Click on it. Immediately you will get the percentage. If you want to change the position of this percentage, you click on custom, click here, apply. And you are in the position to change the percentage. That is a percentage. You can keep it on top, middle or bottom close it the changes will be displayed here now how to interpret the basic thing is the interpretation and how to interpret this 
you want to save this what you will do you will go in file and export and you will browse where you want to change this output save this output so i'll say that this is frequencies save click ok and your output will be saved in frequencies click on d track directly grow on frequencies double click on it now you remove this initial tables and i'll teach you now how to interpret this you can remove this also gender you have to only keep the table and the bar chart right now how to write the interpretation you should never write findings or interpretation here you will write down here out of 474 respondents or employees 45.6 percentage are female and 54.4 percentage are male right now let's take the another chart education level remove this so here also you write down as out of 474 employees 11.2 percentage are having formal education up to age standard then comes 40.1 percentage are having education up to 12 standard so this way you can interpret the remaining Let's take one more variable, employment category. When you write down here as out of 434 employees, 76.6 percentage, you have to see this percentage are in clerical category are clerical are in clerical category 5.7 percentage are in custodial category and 17.7 percentage are in managerial category right one more and now I leave it to you. You will interpret. Tell me, how will you interpret? See, in minority, 370 employees are not in minority, 104 are in minority. So how will I write? We will start the statement opening with, yes, your guess is right. Out of 474 respondents or employees, whatever the thing is, 78.5 one percentage are not in minority and 21.9 percentage are in minority please don't use the words interpretation conclusion here because it is just a descriptive statistics for more videos on SPSS Kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.